Hi and welcome to the Prusha podcast 50. That's the, Hi. Wrong, that's the wrong channel. No, wrong. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, we're here at Prusha, so uh, we might as well just have some fun. Let's go tour Prusha research and see what it takes to make some of the most popular 3D printers on the market. Let's get into it. All right, guys, that's it for the farm, but we are nowhere near done with Perusha. So come along. We have more rooms to check out. Let's go. Come on. And from the farm, we come in to inventory. This is where the parts that are printed on the farm get stored. You have to make sure that you're printing more than you need immediately. So when you do a Black Friday sale and sell so many printers, the people on the farm don't come and try to harm you. This is where all the pieces are stored for inventory so that when you order a machine, it shouldn't take that long to get it out to you. Everything from you know parts for the XL and the Mini and Mark IV, SL1S, CW1S, Mini back there, MMU3 is over here. And it's all well marked. And oh yeah, everything is printed. Gotta love it. <laughs> I just think it's so cool. There's all this inventory too. I wonder how many kilos are stored in here at one time. Love to know your thought on that. <laughs> Not too much to see here, just lots of bins full of plastic. So let's go see something really interesting. Come along. Inside the assembly, we have everything from testing electronics, making sure that the printers are working perfectly and that the boards that you get and even the cables that you get are all working as expected. Further down, we've got really, really intricate electronics testing, but it's all done with printed components. It's everything from electronics testing to assembly for the screens going on back there. Here we have bearing installation and then the load cells. And on the second table back there, we have the planetary gear drive and the extruder for the next extruder assembly. Super cool. Through here, we have boxes that are getting built and packed. There's also a robot back there. There's a universal robot that is handling the stacking of boxes onto the pallets, which is super cool. Packing of the next routers, all the way to basic frame assembly. So if you buy a fully assembled printer, here are the people responsible for making sure it comes done right. Because of course, you can do a fully assembled or a kit. Electronics assembly, extruder assembly back there. And for all you Makita fans, Bosch has entered the chat. <laughs> even down to assembling the printers piece by piece. And unlike the kits that you guys would build, these, well, have all the pieces immediately in front of you and ready. And from there, the machines go to final testing, where the sample print is applied to the bed before the printers are boxed up and shipped out to you guys all over the world. And from here, they go onto these carts, which go to another floor where they are put into boxes a label is applied, and then the alpacas run them to your front door. <laughs> Hi, Joe. How you doing? Just a floor below, we have the assembly area for the Prusa XL. Everything from next routers to motherboards and daughter boards to the back panel and power supply distribution system. Over 60 printers per day are going out in just this facility alone, and I have it on good authority that they're ramping up production. We have the infamous tool head mounts, lead screws, and linear rails. Over there are pulleys in the back, and all the jigs as the printers go down the line are all 3D printed to maximize space. Again, it's just cool. We have rail systems, inventory, adding screws into extrusions for the Z-axis. We have next extruder assemblies, the systems for tool changing, and we have control. A way to make sure that, well, everything is right. With QR codes and traceability. There's the shot everybody loves. The actual planetary drives with the sun in the middle and the planets on the outside using a custom 3D printed 
grease gun to make sure that the right amount of lubricant is applied where you need it. A really, really cool system here. Everything is built to maximize productivity down to quite literally the carts themselves, making sure that the machines can fit as well as possible. But once they're fully assembled, they have to go into shipping, which is back this way. They're gonna be moving to a larger facility here very soon to, well, increase productivity. That's what it's all about. Here's testing for the amazing multi-segment heat bed to make sure that well, works as it should. And here's where packing and shipping of the XL occurs. Again, custom-made jigs, custom-made tables to ensure that everything is as efficient as possible with your semi-assembled. And of course, it wouldn't be without the Haribo. XL for an XL. I love to see the use of jigs and fixtures that are all custom-made to fit the use case. It reduces waste, increases productivity, and keeps the branding the same colors. But there's more to go. So let's go to see the rest of the shipping empire that is Prusa Research, because there's a lot of printers that leave this facility every single day. And well, about five dozen of them are XLs. So if you ordered one, it's coming soon. I promise. After your printers get assembled, they have to get shipped out. And that's kind of the scary part because at that point, everything kind of changes because it goes out of the hands of Prusa and into the shipping companies that have a tendency to drop kick boxes. So you guys have even developed a super high tech method for testing, which is a one meter high measurement yeah, to drop right. boxes. We are dropping in boxes. But Thomas, talk to me about what you guys do here to ensure that printers get to where they need to go. Okay, we back it well. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Anything else? <laughs> hey, short and sweet, but you guys have a lot of knowledge and time and, and expertise and a lot of failures along the way to get to where it is now. To get the packaging to where it's not only pretty much 100% recyclable, it's up near 80, right? It's, I would say from with some packages, it's 100% because wow. it's, everything is just a cardboard, mm -hmm. the package itself. There have been a lot of processes along the way to ensure that packages get to where they need to yeah. go. And back in the day, it was black plastic you wrapped the boxes in, yeah. then it was white plastic, and now they're pure cardboard because you guys have gone yeah. through those rigorous tests. But Thomas, can you tell us what it's been like to get to this point? Okay, it took a lot of job. We had to work hard for this. As you told, back in the days, we wrapped the packages, but now we are using only a cardboard to ensure it's fully recyclable. If you get a paper uh, box, you have to throw it into the bin and that's yep. it to recycle it. So it's awesome. We wrap. No. That's pretty cool. I, I like this. I like this. Gotta have the forklift. Yeah. That man is a ladies' man because anyone that's forklift certified, they know what's up. That's the one way how to put the material up. Yeah, hey. We got lift, we got this place, and we got obviously hands to keep it on, uh, to just handle it with uh, stairs. That's it. Makes life easier. <laughs> that man knows what he's doing with the forklift too. That's, that, okay. that's high quality work right there. But you guys have two floors here yes. of packaging that ensures that everything from a regular nozzle all the way up to a fully assembled printer. Yes, that's it. Is done right. Yes, that's it. If you take a look upstairs, we mm -hmm. are shipping all the master products, okay. which means all the printer, all the upgrade goes from this place. And here downstairs, we are shipping all the, we call it small orders. Okay. It means that each filament, each nozzle, each steel sheet, everything goes from here. We have shipped till in November, 2023, we shipped already 40,000 packages. 40,000 packages out of this one facility. Yes. So. Let's go take a look and see what it takes to get the orders from inside the facility to your doors. Here on the second floor, we have the packing and shipping department with a lot of 3D printers going out of the door. And each one of them is hand packed and sent down the line to the delivery alpacas that will get them out to you. There are four lines here serving the individual types of printers and other things that might come out of Prusa Research. It's amazing to see a well-oiled machine, if you will, because shipping is kind of where the rubber meets the road for 
these boxes because at that point, the printer is out of the hands of Prusa and is in the hands of whomever is gonna be drop kicking it for whatever shipping facility it might be. And getting the packaging right matters a ton so that your printers arrive safe and sound. But there's way more to shipping, so let's go back downstairs and see what else is going on. Coming down the stairs, we land in the parts department where pretty much every single part that you would ever want to order is stored. From nozzles, SD cards, Prusa Lube, what you do with it is up to you. And then when it's all ready, the boxes come out and they end up here to get wrapped up and ready for shipping. That way, if it's cold or raining or uh, snowing even, your packages arrive in perfect shape. This is what it takes to really run an efficient operation from loading docks to storage, and even for storage of things that don't sell all the time. But making sure that you maintain inventory numbers so that when an order comes in, it's not days, weeks, or months should it be something that is small and readily available. And with traceability and the QR codes, it makes everything easy to get together and put in boxes. And of course, pretty much all the packaging is recyclable. And that concludes our time here at Prusa Research. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed filming it. It's been an amazing experience to fly all the way from Florida to Prague to just learn more about 3D printing. But do let me know in those comments what your favorite thing is. And if we make it out again, what you want to see, if we can show you. But I want to give a huge thank you to Prusa Research and all the staff here for being incredibly nice, opening their doors and showing us everything that it takes to go from idea to 3D printer. And of course, thank you to Mr. Joe Prusa himself for allowing this kind of thing, because we've shown you guys things that have never before been seen on video which is super cool. Well, if you haven't yet, leave a like and get subscribed. Do stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome here at Prusa. Take care.